Hi, YouTube. It's your girl, Lovely Mocha. Um, I'm coming to you because I'm trying to do um, a vlog, actually, from my camera because my computer doesn't work right now. Um, it works, but my dog chewed up my cord, so um, I can't be doing any videos on there now, can I, huh? Okay. Anyways, um, well, I am currently in Arizona, and I am um, going to be vlogging, doing my BSG journey. So, um, I haven't got a surgery date or anything like that. I'm just currently like halfway through. I'm currently doing like my six month uh, medically supervised weight loss. I've done my sleep study. I am doing my EGD um, Thursday, tomorrow actually. Um, and then um, I have to do, um, I've done like an ultrasound. I've done a lot of things actually. So it's been like really, really busy. So I've been like keeping on everything like I'm supposed to keep on. The only thing that's slowing me down is just like six month weight loss, medically supervised weight loss, which is okay because I'll be done with that in December. So it's just like, um, I know I'm very anxious, like a lot of you have been. I'm very anxious, but at the same time, I know that um, I have to follow the instructions and do, um, you know, pretty much what I can do. Now, um, I do know that um, there's a lot of people that get their stuff done a lot faster and things like that. Mine isn't working like that, actually, because I have to make sure that I get all my stuff done in order like they want it to. They're very particular. Um, if there's anybody in Arizona that knows a different way that I can do this besides having to, you know, do it uh, basically by the book or however you want to say it, then just let me know. But right now, I just have to totally do it by the book. Um, excuse me, my eyes are like red right now, too, because I'm going to have like a headache or whatever, but um, <clears throat> this is a lot of stuff to take in, a lot of stuff to deal with, and right now I'm kind of like all over the place because um, I just put my I just put my kids to sleep and I was like exhausted, and I was trying to do this video for a very long time, so I even had my daughter help me like try to do this, and um, finally I said, forget, forget it, I'm just going to do it, I'm just going to keep it like, keep it real and do it the best way I can, so I'm not hiring anything like that, it's just that I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm stressing out, things like that. So anyway, so if there's anybody out here in Arizona that knows what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the whole, you know, access system and the care first and things like that and how it works, um, hit me up, let me know, send me a message or something like that. Let me know what you went through or what you're going through and maybe we can go through this together too. All of, everyone, even if you're not in Arizona, I would like to go ahead and follow your journey, which I have been. I've been like... You know, YouTube stalking and all that, like that, looking at all the videos and things like that. And um, it's a lot of inspiration on here, a lot of inspiration. And you guys have been so much inspiration to me that I actually want to, you know, return the favor and be inspiration to other people out there as well so they can understand and know. Because if a lot of you didn't do your videos, I wouldn't know a lot of the stuff that I know now, you know. So I appreciate that. Um, the other thing, um, I'm trying as hard as I can to kind of remember what I want to say. I'm a little bit nervous, <laughs> you know, whatever, and um, I, I want to get this stuff said, you know, before I run out of time and all this other stuff like that, too. And also, I tend to talk a lot of fast, of course. Um, I'm, I'm trying to slow it down as much as possible, but I talk naturally fast anyways. And being a little nervous makes me talk a little bit more faster, but I do apologize about that. So um, I'm going to try to slow it down, keep it a little bit, you know, slow. But when I tend to talk slow, I'm like, really slow, you know, so, anyways, so, anyways, um, I live here in Arizona, I don't have any family here at all, it's just my stuff and my kids, and, um, their dad, and then, um, I have, um, two dogs, <laughs> I have a pit bull, and then I have, um, a Pomeranian, um, out of my six kids that I do have, I do have a daughter that's special needs, she has autism, and um, she's my seven-year-old. <coughs> Excuse me. We're getting over this cold, too, so I'm a little nasally. I'm nasally by nature anyways, but this cold is making me sound a little bit worse than normal. But um, I'm doing this um, whole surgical thing um, because, first of all, it was recommended by my doctor. I was referred by my doctor. And secondly, it's because um, there's a lot of things that have to do to deal with my kids anyway. It's like being a mom. It's just like, you know, it's a lot of work, but having a special needs child is an addition to 
regular motherhood, regular things that you have to do. And I thank God so much every single day that she is not one of those kids that's really bad or she handles most of her things on her own. She's Like I said, she's seven years old, but she's a lot of help to me because she really does not require much attention. I mean, there's, she's very, she has special diets and things like that other than the other kids, so I have to do different things for her than I do for my other kids. And I have a smaller one that's 20, 22 months old who's very outgoing, does, you know, has a lot of work as well. So uh, this uh, point blank period, this stuff right here is just uh, what I'm doing is for me to be around for my kids much longer. I don't have a mom. I don't have any family that's, you know, around me that um, my kids can actually, you know, depend on. If something happens to me, that's pretty much it. I mean, they have their dad. <sighs> that's going to be a whole nother video, though. They have their dad, but... Um, I feel like I can do for my kids a lot better than anybody can. I'm pretty sure any mother or father will feel the same way. But um, I know with my mother not being in my life, I know how it feels, and I don't want that for my kids. And so if I keep going the route that I'm going, um, as far as, you know, the weight and things like that, um, I won't be around. I think I hear my daughter. Sorry for that. So what I need to do now is to um, actually get to get, get myself together, um, get healthy, get this weight off, and, you know, be here for them. You know what I'm saying? To watch them grow up and to, you know, have kids of their own and just be around. And I'm like, thank goodness I do not have any kind of um, medical issues. I mean, I do have, like, back issues because of my weight, my knees, my feet, and stuff like that, and um, a lot of that type of thing. But I have no high blood pressure, no high cholesterol. Um, and, you know, all of that stuff like that. So I'm thankful, very thankful for that. Um, my thing is that I really do, really do, and really would appreciate if um, you guys hit me up and uh, give me some advice and somebody to talk to because, like I said, I don't have anyone else to talk to except for my doctors about what's going on. Um, my sister, I do have sisters and brothers in South Carolina. That's where I'm originally from, and I don't, I talk to one of my sisters quite often. Um, but it's just like I would, you guys understand and can relate to me a lot more than anybody else can besides my doctors because you know what I'm going through and you know um, how to relate to me. So whatever I'm talking about, you guys can, you know, honestly understand. So I just want to come on here to, like, you know, meet people, um, give some advice, give some advice, um, be able to talk to um, someone, you know, talk to you guys about things and, um, just like I said, pretty much just to meet people and um, things like that. But um, I don't like to be rambling on or anything like that because, like I said, I'm kind of just trying this out a little bit because of the simple fact that I have, um, sorry, I don't like why I have a little, you can see through my hair in the back or whatever it is. But um, um, I have watched a lot of you guys' videos, and um, like I said, I think a lot of you are totally awesome. Um, we have a lot of common when it comes to some of the things, and um, I just can't wait to actually, like, make more videos and everything. This is just my introductory video. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now my weight, because I know some people say, well, I'll go ahead and say it. When I went to the doctor, when was that, last, last week, last Thursday, yep, it was last Thursday, I got on a scale and it was, like, 265, I think it was. Now, mind you, my family has has not seen me since I hit like 200s or whatever. My sisters or nobody like that. Last time they saw me, I think it was like 180 or something like that. So it's been years. It's been a lot. It's been years. And so um, when we moved to Arizona a few years ago to for my daughter actually to help her get better and see doctors and things like that for her autism, um, we moved down here from Alaska and to get her help and everything, and then the weight just started coming on and on and on and on. And it's like, gosh, man, it's like it seems like it's been coming on faster than I could keep count. I mean, clothes are not fitting and things like that, and it's just been awful, just awful. And I am a homebody. I don't go nowhere. I'm looking at my door now because I thought I saw somebody paranoid. Huh? Anyway, um, I don't go nowhere. I just sit home pretty much. Um, my... Uh, don't really go to my my daughters are in is in, are in competitive cheer. Um, I do to go to the competitions most of the time, but I'm not really. I'm not very uncomfortable, of course, because of how I feel, like how I look, or whatever. And 
I do get people, you know, saying all the time, where you're cute, you should just go out, you should do things, you you have a nice shape, you have a nice body, and this and that and the other. Even when I was like a size five, and I do remember this time, I'm a size five, even when I was like nine, ten, or whatever, going up, I would always have, you know, the, the attention that I didn't want to have, like with my butt or whatever, like, oh, you have a big butt, and this and that and the other. That's your only problem, your butt and your hips, and this and that, you're small at the top, but big at the bottom. I'm not comfortable with that. That's, I'm just not comfortable with it. So it's like people can say what they want to say. Okay, yeah, that looks good, or this and that and the other, or you know, get all these, this attention from guys and stuff like that. But I don't want that attention. I don't want them to know me for me. I want them to understand. You know what I'm saying? It's more to me than just that. But anyways, I'm going over 10 minutes now, so um, I'm gonna make some more videos. So if you guys would you please just comment, um, and um, send me an invite or whatever you want to call it. But um. I'll be talking to you soon and let you know new updates. Okay, thanks. Bye.